Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn how to play beautiful country double stops. Now, many of you have emailed me about this after I uploaded the electric guitar lesson on country double stops, and you asked me whether this can be played on acoustic. So the answer is a resounding acoustic yes. So let's learn country double stops. I'm also going to explain to you what it means and how to create your own double stops. So let's learn this riff. to it again. Okay. So country double stops are basically chords. You're playing chords and you're basically just hammering on the major third note. You're hammering on the note that creates the quality of the chord. So if we have E major, that's the first chord that I was playing, okay? okay e major, the bar on seven, okay? A shaped, okay? Our favorite E bar, okay? If we take the first two strings, we have strings one and two, we have seven and nine. That's our major third here. Okay, this creates the major sound, okay? the major chord. And if we just hammer it on, okay? if we play seven and seven on strings one and two, and we hammer on the nine, we get that country double stop. That's the entire theoretic idea behind country double stops. Okay? So, that's all I did. I was hammering it on twice and then pulling it off. And then I was playing nine on the third string just as a melodic device to take me to the next chord, which is B major. Now in B major, if you play strings two and three, you have seven and eight. Okay, and that eight is the major note the major third so so I'm hammering that on from two frets down so I have seven and six on strings two and three and I hammer on eight so now if you play this E and B even without the bass notes you can hear the chords All right, you, you hear so Add the bass note, okay? I am playing it with my thumb, okay? Seven on the sixth fret. So, okay? With E, it's just the open E bass. And then we have A. Now for A, we have two options, okay? We have the high double stop or the low double stop. The, the high double stop is the same exact thing you play on B, two frets down. Okay? Now you don't have to put your thumb on because you have the open A string. Okay? And the low version takes the next note of the chord instead. So if you have A, you have the D string, you have seven. So you can hammer on four to six on the third string with seven on the fourth. Okay, so it's... Okay, now you're using your little finger here. It's a little bit of a stretch, but you'll get used to it. It's really a lot of fun to play double stops. So it's also fun to practice. Four and seven on strings three and four. Okay, so it's... And you hammer on six with your ring finger, with your third finger. So you can do... Okay? You can do the high one or the low one. And for the last chord, we're back to E. And you can either play the same thing that you just played, okay? just down a string, 
okay, up physically, down musically. Four and seven on strings, four and five. And you hammer on six on the fourth, okay? Now, why does this work? It's because you have the C-shaped bar there. Bar on four, C-shape, is an E chord. And this is the major third. Now, you can play this. Or you can play the same thing that you played at the beginning, only an octave down, which is four and four on strings three and four, hammering on the six on the D string. It's exactly the same notes. Okay, only an octave down. Okay, an octave lower. So you can play the high double stop or the low double stop. Now, in the electric lesson, I also showed that you can play both variations, okay? On acoustic, it sounds a little less brilliant in sound, but you can do it, okay? Okay, with A, okay? Can do it, can do the whole chord. And on E, okay? On E, it's a little bit easier because you're barring. So on E, that would be 7, 4, 4 on strings 5, 4, and 3. Okay, that would be this. Okay, so you're hammering on, again, 6 on the 4th. Okay, and you can arpeggio the chord. Okay. On A, it's a little bit less convenient because it's 7, 4, 5. Okay, remember, you have 5 on the 2nd string. So it's... Five on the second, four on the third, seven on the fourth, and you're hammering on six on the third string. It's a little bit more difficult, but you can do it. You can do it. It's a lot of fun to practice, okay? okay? Now, this works on any chord, any major chord, C-shaped, it's the same, A-shaped, it's the same, E-shaped, it's the same, okay? If you have G, okay, it's the same as B and A. If you have D, yeah, sorry, it's the same as E, because you have the open D, okay? So you do the same thing, so... And if you want the C-shaped bar, okay, let's say G, okay, so, okay, you, you have this, okay, okay the, which is the same, incidentally, as this, okay, it's the same sound. So you have, okay, you have it here. So when, wherever the bar is, you now know how to produce beautiful country double stops. So before you go, check out my full course program, the Break Your Boundaries course program, filled with over 15 course modules designed to take your playing and your musical knowledge on the guitar to the stratosphere. And I release new courses regularly, and when you join the Break Your Boundaries course program, every future course is automatically added to your members area. I just released a new course, in fact. Uh, I talked about it um, at the beginning of the month. So go check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. I will see you on the other side. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.